All right, here's your thread, yarn. Here's your yarn. And I'm at the gym, so we're double dutying. Ignore me if I'm panting. Here's your crochet hook. You're gonna take the yarn and you're gonna wrap it around your fingers so that it crosses like this. See that, you're crossed. Is that hard to see? Yeah, like that, see? And you're gonna go under one. And you're gonna grab the other one. You're gonna pull it through the hole. Oh, look at that. It just got harder on my bike, sorry. Okay, so you have a loop like that. Let's do it again. Okay, around once. Twice. See the X? See the X? Now you're gonna go under one and grab the other one. See that? Boom, big giant loop. Now you're gonna pull the long one to make it tighter on your crochet hook. And now you start chaining, right? See it? You hold your little knot, you pull one through, 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 because it's chains. The chains need to be big enough to go around your hook, and they need to have enough room for you to be able to pull through another one. Ugh. Nothing like biking to nowhere. Pull through, chain. I'm making chains, break every chain. Chain, chain, chain. Chain, 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 chain. See, let's do it again. Pulls it out. Ooh, magic trick. And we start around twice. So that X marks where you start. You go under one. And you pull the other one through. And you pull. You have a giant loop, and you'll adjust. You have a short string and a long string. You hold the short string static while you pull the long string. Or you can hold the long string and pull the short string. It doesn't matter. And there it is. And the one that's attached to your ball of yarn is how you start chaining. You hold the little knot at the base. Pull through, pull through, pull through. And do it this way, you see, right? I'm just pulling this through. See, so that I have a hook, I grab it and pull it right through. That's called chaining. I need to chain 40, I'm making a hat. You got this. <laughs>